hello and welcome back to my channel thank you very much for watching my name is Sean please subscribe if you'd like to see more there are loads and loads of different types of video on this channel and I'm sure you'll find something that you like I want to talk to you today about kind of aggressive behavior in children and the best way to kind of seek help and this isn't something I've talked about on my YouTube channel before and it's not something I've really talked to that many people about before because I didn't necessarily feel comfortable doing it but I feel like we're in a place now where um, where I can speak about it and hopefully in speaking about it it will help someone else out there. Last year we had a really really tough year with my daughter. She was biting, hitting, kicking, screaming, refusing to do anything that we wanted her to do or that she should have been doing. She was aggressive towards mainly me um, but also my husband and our son. She was kind of out of control. Um, for example on a flight back from Belfast she basically kind of bit and scratched me the whole flight. Thankfully it was a really short flight. She was hungry um, but it didn't kind of help obviously because she wasn't going to eat because she was just gone too far she didn't want to eat so I basically spent that flight in tears and it reached a point last summer where we actually just had to ask for help I didn't know what to do I didn't know who to turn to I didn't know if anyone could help us but I knew that I had reached the end of all the things that I'd tried to make things better for her and I couldn't find anything else in me to be able to help her and I just wanted to be able to help her. Finding help, it turned out, was quite hard. I rang the GP and they said, no, there's, there's nothing we can do, you need to call a health visitor. So I rang the health visitor and they said, no, there's nothing we can do, you need to call a school nurse. It was school holidays, so I called the school nurse and they said, oh no, we can't do anything until school is back. I rang my big GP again in tears this time and said, I don't know what to do, I need some help here. And the GP said, okay, look, here is the direct line of someone who works for the council and she helps with behavioral issues. And basically I rang the number and the woman said, yes, of course I can help. I'll come and see you as a family. And she was a family liaison worker, something like that, um, a family support worker. And she came out and she sort of did a big assessment with all of us. She chatted to my daughter. She saw her kind of anger flare up a bit and she said, look, I can help you. I'm going to go into school when she's back at school and I'm going to work with her. And so she was going into school to work with her on a one-to-one -one basis to try and work out what was wrong because fundamentally a child doesn't behave like that normally. You know, that's not normal behavior. There has to be something going on or you have to understand why that anger is there. We basically took it all back to when it had really started which was when my grandma had died and that was two years previously and we hadn't really thought it had kind of impacted on her but then when we realised how much loss she'd had in quite a short space of time we realised that she was really kind of suffering bereavement um, not necessarily just for my grandma but basically we moved up to this house to care for my grandma and when we moved up here she left her childminder who she'd been with since she was six months old and she and the childminder adored each other and so when we left she obviously lost the childminder but she also lost her best friend who was at the childminders who lived quite a long way away so we couldn't then see them as often so she lost a childminder her friend then my sister moved to San Francisco and so she kind of lost her too and then my grandma died so in the space of about three weeks she'd lost four people who were really really close to her and I think that was really difficult for her. I also think losing our cat the year that kind of the behavioural issues started was also definitely sort of a factor in it because it was the first, I think the cat was probably more poignant to her than my grandma because the cat had been, you know, they'd been together since she was born. He was here all the time and he just got old, you know, that happened. So I think that really was, a, I think that was really kind of an issue as well so it was all about trying to work out how we help her and how the people who were coming into school to help her help her deal with this loss and so they basically gave her some bereavement counseling some bereavement work they worked through things they talked about loss they talked about death 
and she had 12 sessions with this woman and they were really really useful and as the sessions progressed I saw my daughter as she used to be kind of coming out uh, coming out again basically coming into her own again another thing we did was look at discipline and not in the, the sense of kind of like home discipline but in the sense of self-discipline and helping her to kind of be in control of her feelings and not lash out and although this sounds a bit counterintuitive what we did is we signed her up for karate so <laughs> at the time I wasn't too sure whether teaching a child who was aggressive to punch and kick accurately and with strength was a good idea but I hadn't appreciated that karate has such a kind of basis on self-discipline about discipline within the class about teamwork about working with each other about friendship and about achievement and karate for her has been incredible to watch her go in every week to watch how strong she's become and how confident she's become in her own ability just through being able to do karate is amazing and and she's got that now you know she's got this confidence she's got this inner strength but she still is very hard on herself and sadly I think she probably gets that from me because I've always been really hard on myself and I think she really she gets really frustrated with herself if she does something wrong or if she struggles with something she finds that hard but she's so imaginative and so creative and such a positive person that when she kind of has these down moments of self-hatred she does tend to pick herself out of them quite quickly now whereas before she would sort of wallow in them now she sees where she's going and she kind of pulls herself out and we can turn it around into a positive thing if possible I think one of the other things is praise and letting them know they are loved and she does know she's loved and even when she was hitting and biting and scratching she knew she was loved and I never kind of retaliated against her I just always said look I'm not happy that you're doing this but I can understand why you know so I never really sort of put her down for what she was doing and I think that was probably quite a good thing I think you have to deal with it positively and also with patience because your natural instinct if someone is biting you is to like get away and kind of do what you can do to get out of that situation and it's very hard kind of go against that feeling within you to sort of bring it back and go no I'm not I'm not doing this I, I have to be patient with her I can't shout or lash out I have to be patient because that's the only way that she will learn kind of that it's not right I guess I don't know but for us the way of dealing with it was with patience and with praise and it definitely worked for us at the time when this happened I thought there was going to be no way out I thought this is how she's going to behave forever and it did feel like the longest year of my life I really struggled that year with the patience I struggled just trying to work out what was wrong and it was only when I asked for help that it kind of worked and she really came out of her shell and I don't think it was something that I could have done with her I think she needed that help from someone who wasn't me basically um, so if you're in this position if you have a child who's being aggressive to you I would urge you to speak to your doctor your health visitor your school nurse whoever you have to speak to and don't give in if they say they can't help keep badgering because eventually you find the right people and the right people are there they're just not necessarily the first people who are suggested to you and I really found that I mean my daughter would I don't know what she would be like now if she hadn't have had that sort of intervention then but it has been fantastic for her and I really thank the people who came out to help us and who saw her regularly it was an absolute godsend at a time when I was literally at my wits end so if you are in that position then I feel your pain I absolutely do I would recommend getting help from wherever possible I was worried that it would look bad that I was asking for help with my daughter but fundamentally I had to ask for help so 
it doesn't matter if it looked bad or if it wasn't a great thing to do it has been a great thing to do because she's a different little girl today than she would have been if we hadn't have had that help so I would definitely recommend getting some help if you feel like you need it and if you want to DM me or anything like that then please feel free if you want to leave in the comments below any of your experiences that were similar or if you're going through it now then please do I'll do my best to chat to you and hopefully just be there to listen because I think I needed someone just to listen to me and to kind of hear that I was struggling and also for it to be okay to struggle as a parent it's never going to be like all cupcakes and rainbows it's it's hard and it can be really really hard like soul destroyingly hard at times and I think we just need to be there for each other and I think in making this video I just wanted you to be aware that these problems exist and whilst I wasn't ready to talk about it at the time I'm ready to talk about it now and I hope that in talking about it it has helped someone out there right I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful if you did give us a thumbs up if you would like to then please subscribe and if you do subscribe please make sure you click on the bell so you get a notification when I upload a video and I will see you again soon. Alright bye.